Oh wow, look at that. That is too precious. All three of them, the little family together. Isn't that awesome? Now, I'm going to just get a look at their eyes and see if their eyes have, in fact, changed. Just too fantastic. Cannot believe our luck today. Nevin, you're in Australia and you say you were in Kruger once and you came across an abandoned lion cub and you say, is it common? No, it's very uncommon, Nevin. It really does not happen a lot. It's very strange and it would probably have happened as a result of pressure or starvation or the mother may have died well, they do cross suckle but if the pride was in some if the pride was in some distress then you'll find that they may have abandoned the youngster now look these elephants are coming towards us the little leopard cubs are sneaking up onto the top of the mound This is too wonderful. Yeah, their eyes haven't changed much, you know. That is definitely Charlotte we're looking at there, who's just jumping onto the back of the mound there. And she's just a little bit nervous of the elephants. Byron, everybody, uh, Bertie, is on his way to Buffalshook Dam. And with any luck, we're going to have dogs as well. Now, Blue Butterfrog, a nice question from you. If the cub was in a tree, would an elephant approach the tree? I don't think these youngsters would. Um, they wouldn't be afraid of the, of the cub. Um, I, they're, not, they're not overtly nasty to, to predators. I mean, they know these leopards are here. They, they're not worried about it. But at the same time, um, I guess an angry elephant bull, if he smelt predator in a tree, might try and push the tree over or certainly shake the cub out. But I think they'd have to be very, very upset to do that. I don't think these youngsters and um, I don't think these young ones and the cows would, would be that angry. I don't think they would have to do that. Oh, I'm just going to depress.